we know that we learn our language or its sub variety at home but we don't live only by this single variety throughout our life human mind is built up in such a way it is built up in such a way that it can store more than one language system simultaneously so we are able to learn as many languages as we like and same is the case with variety so when we move outside home we move to new context we interact with other people and situations we are exposed to new variety of the same language or varieties of other languages so we know we acquire more than one variety in this way we choose where to stick to our mother variety our home variety and where to shift to other variety and uh, it makes us bilingual or multilingual we can switch from one language to the other in the same situation or in the same sentence or same utterance for example we say in one context if our address uh, for example uh, is some sick guest so we say that asi tusanu ji aaya nu aakhne aa this is one variety of punjabi language because the dressy is a sick and if the addressy is some non sick punjabi so we can say khush aamdeed so because in our punjabi variety persian and arabic words are also used in punjabi and uh, in indian punjabi uh, they don't mix up punjabi with other such languages so this is how we can switch to uh, other varieties the choice depends on the context of talk where we are talking and who are our addressing even speakers who spend their whole life in same community they learn to vary their language in different contexts code switching is one example of this as i said in the last module that code means language variety register anything like that so this single term covers all these things so when we do not want to mention specifically uh, any of these so we use the term code and code switching means we shift from a one language or variety to the other code switching makes us more mobile and uh, communicatively competent we are more successful in talk if we know more than one language or more than one variety as compared to those people who are monolingual they have learned only one language or one variety further we act gender through our use of language as a man and woman we switch code as we move from different situations so this this is the code switching where we in fact perform our gender as men and women we move to different contexts we talk with different people and accordingly we switch from one variety to the other and our choice of variety shows our choice of language shows that who we are we are a man or a woman this is how gender is expressed through bilingualism or code switching bourdieu he is a french sociologist says that the situations we talk in 
our linguistic market, our market of idea. He says, wherever we talk, that situation is a linguistic market. And market, you know, this is a term from economics and business. It means where things are exchanged, their things are sold, their value is exchanged, received, etc. So, what we sell and what we buy in linguistic market, this value is known as linguistic capital by this author. The value is known, the value of our language that we sell in linguistic market is determined by how the talk, how the utterance we make is received by people in that situation. And whether this talk is welcomed and spread to other situations would determine value of our utterance. And uh, value of our utterance means value of our variety. And value of variety means value of the speaker. This is Bordieu. Uh, and this, this is the book, Language and Symbolic Power, where he has expressed these ideas which I was sharing with you. One factor that influences value of our talk is the status of variety we speak. We are respected and accepted in the linguistic market and in powerful circles if we choose right variety in right context. But we may not get global power and respect in every community and in every class. Global power means in every community, wherever we go, or in every class, social class, middle, upper, elite class, working class, our variety is not respected and welcome. It varies from community to community. If we speak, for example, standard elite variety, we get access to elites and whatever benefits are associated with that variety, benefits that may be cultural benefit, social benefit, people think uh, give us higher status, higher respectability, and we also are welcomed in uh, good jobs like that. But in this case, lower classes will not value our choice of standard variety because they would value the variety that is spoken in that community. It means every variety has power and value and respect in its own community. This difference in varieties and their power divides linguistic market into two hierarchical markets. Hierarchical markets means class-based market because variety enjoys respect with reference to its class. So the linguistic market where we exchange varieties, where value of varieties is determined that is highly class-based. If the class of variety is high, its value would be high. If it is spoken by low, lower class, its value would be lower. On the upper side lies the standard or elite variety, upper side of the market, because this is hierarchical division. In hierarchy, something is at higher level and something is at lower level. So at higher level stands the standard or elite variety, and uh, it remains the same in all contexts. It has no link with any specific region, right? How it happens, we will see shortly. For example, Standard English. This is Royal English, BBC English. This is the English that is spoken by almost 3% of the UK. 
This is called standard variety of English. It is not a dialect. It is not related with any particular region or class. On the other side of hierarchical market lies the vernacular, the variety that is spoken by other people, non-elite people. They may be middle class, they may, that may be working class, etc. For example, if we take English, UK English as standard English, so we have a non-standard variety of English that is Pakistani English. These varieties are called non-standard varieties or uh, as I use the term vernacular for them. So we conclude that language variation or varieties are closely linked with the socio-economic classes of the users of the variety.